toys. Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Blastercated Painting. Normally I release my videos on a Monday, but because it's a special day, I'm doing a special video. I am old enough to say that I got this book when it first came out in 1996, and today we're going to be painting these guys. So today we're going to paint the Swoop Bike Riders from Atomic Mass Games Star Wars Legion. Let's do it. First things first, I gave these guys a Zenithal highlight. Next, I moved on to the first color, which is Dark Wood by the Army Painter, and this is going on his pants. Next thing, we took Slaughter Red, and this is going to go on his vest that he's wearing. There are a ton of vests in the Star Wars universe. I'm just realizing that a lot of people wear vests. I'm not sure why. It's, I guess it's more function over fashion. Next, we are moving on to Mantis Warriors Green, and this is gonna go just on the little bit of skin showing on his arms. Next, we're gonna move to Hardened Leather, and this is gonna go on all the belts and straps. So he's got a belt around his waist, he's got some bandolier action going on bandolier action he's also got uh, some straps around his shoulder pad and around his ankles Next, we're going to take Militarum Green, and this is going to go around that fancy uh, scarf he's got around his neck. I think they call it an Afghan. I think that's what the cool kids call it, but I call it a scarf. Then we're going to take Sand Golem, and this is just going to go on his beehive head. Now, I chose uh, this head sculpt. Like, this kit has a lot of different heads that you can do. Um, it's got a lot of uh, modularity. Unfortunately, none of the instructions are out yet, because I got these early, and it's all a QR code now. But anyway, I chose this head sculpt because it's the one I remember from the Shadows of the Empire game for Nintendo 64. Next, we're going to take Skeleton Horde, and this is just going to go on his seat. It's uh, Corillian Leather. Next, we're going to take Rattling Grime, and this is going to go all over the main body of the swoop bike. So all, all the, uh, I don't know, body of the actual swoop bike. If you looked at it like a motorcycle, it'd go on the actual body of it. It's also going to go onto the front of the uh, steering vanes. I think they were called steering vanes. Then we're going to switch to Gunmetal from Army Painter. I'm going to water this down heavily, and this is going to go on all the parts of the bike that we didn't paint with the Rattling Grime. So the steering vanes, the handles, the exhaust pipes, everywhere we didn't. Then we're going to switch to Grave Lord Grey, and this is going to go on all the parts of him that we didn't actually paint yet. So his boots, his shoulder pad, um, his arm bracers, uh, and also all over the mask.
once we've done that, this is also going to go on all the silver parts of the bike. So just wait for it to dry fully and then just slap this on. We're not too concerned if this looks messy because this is a dirty old swoop bike. I feel like they're more concerned with them running correctly than how they look. Then we're going to switch to Grim Black, and this is going to go on the Blaster and the Vibro Axe on his back. Then we're going to take sun yellow and this is just going to be used to dot in his eye lenses. I'm not sure what they are. Then we're going to take chain mail silver and we're going to rip up a makeup sponge and we're just going to dab some of this on there. A ripped up makeup sponge is really good for weathering. Then we're going to take a dry brush and we're going to dry brush his weapons and his any of the parts where we use the Grave Lord Grey. And also we're going to put quite a bit of this all over the bike and steering vanes. Then we're going to take some leather brown and we're going to dry brush this just on the front parts of the swoop bike. So this is going to give the idea that there's a little bit of dirt getting crusted up on there as he's whipping over the dunes. I will put a link in the description below to the Pike Syndicate video where I can show you how I do the basing with this guy and with that he is done. And as quick paint jobs go this guy turned out really good. The bike is weathered and dirty and he looks pretty cool. I really like the color combinations that bright green really pops and next to the muted uh, vest and his beehive hat I really love that sand golem color it's really cool I had a really fun time painting this guy it's a really cool miniature now you may be asking why I didn't do both and it's just because I don't have enough time um, we're going away for the weekend, me and my family, and I just was trying to get this out as quickly as possible, so it might be a little bit rougher than my other ones. They're all pretty rough. Never mind. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all of the YouTube things, and you have a great day. Today we'll be painting the Swoop Bike Riders from... No, nope, I don't remember what they're from. First thing I did was I gave these guys a Zenithal highlight. I'm trying to get these guys done quick and easy and fast and blah, blah, blah. And we'll be using Sand Golem on the Beehive helmet. The Bee... The helmet... I don't know what it is. It's very Star Wars-y, though.